Todd Armstrong. We're going to tag up. We're going up against the Midnight Express. That's right, Dennis Condry and Bobby Eaton. So let me tell you something, guys. This match here is going to be no disqualification, no time limit. That means that we can do anything we want to do. We don't even need a referee. So let me tell you something. May 13th, some Morris Ryan Temple. It's all going to take place at midnight. You better gear up and come on. We're going to rock and roll. Linda Mays, only on ABC 3340. I'm a man, I'm a pro, and I'm better than you. I can bend you like a pretzel, I can tear you in two. I like to taunt you and scare you and make you feel lame. Because in this business, that's the name of the game. I'm a big-time wrestler, and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain you. I win or I lose by the count of three. But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me. The ropes won't save you when I start my attack. If you try to escape, I'll just pull you back. I'll spin you like a top, and when you've had enough, I'll turn up the heat and really start to get rough. Because I'm a big-time wrestler, and I like what I do. I destroy my opponent just to entertain you. I win or I lose by the count of three. But whatever the outcome, you can't defeat me. and welcome to Wrestle Birmingham. I'm your host, Larry Lloyd. As some of you may recall, last week was my first week to host this show. Well, after the show, the producer said, you know, you may have been a little laid back. Well, okay, tonight, it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. It's gonna be in your face. Just kidding, not my style. But I am sort of excited about tonight's show. There's gonna be some new stuff, some old stuff, but it's all gonna be good stuff. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Here comes our classic match of the week featuring Wildcat Wendell Cooley and Ralph Lincoln. Hey, 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 Ralphie boy, here we go. In the ring, weighing in at 208 pounds from Illinois, here is Ralph Lincoln. Lincoln. And ladies and gentlemen, making his way to ringside, weighing in at 217 pounds from Milton, Florida, Here's Wild Cat Wendell Cooley. Ladies and gentlemen, your third man in the ring is senior official Ronnie West. One fall, 10 minute time limit. Okay, Ralph Brangle going up against Wild Cat Wendell Cooley. Our first opportunity to watch uh, Mr. Cooley in action. And Brangle wasting no time, neither is Cooley, as we've got fists flying now. And suddenly, Cooley firing back. And Cooley pounding away. The Wildcat ready for uh, Ralph Brengo. Has him up against the ring ropes, fires him off an Irish whip. High backdrop on Brengo. Irish whip once again. Brengo caught with a chop. And brother, that put him to the mat. There's a full body slam by Wildcat Cooley. Cooley, who has his sights set on the exotic Adrian Street. Back on his feet once again. And Cooley caught him one over the ear, clubbing right hand, a roundhouse right, if you will. And a good right cross that time that puts Brangle back to the canvas. Remember this fall, this match rather, one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Caught him with a knee lift right at the belt line coming off the ropes. Cooley. Excellent muscular conformation and definition. Brings him up, full scoop slam once again. Cooley off the ropes, down into the throat of uh, Ralph Brangle. Brangle in a heap of trouble now. And Cooley senses he's got this man exactly where he wants him. Oklahoma Stampede. The Oklahoma Stampede, he hooks the near leg. No, that was the far leg. And so, a fine victory going to Mr. Wendell Wildcat Cooley. Let's take another look at that in slow motion if we can. We'll take another look at slow motion. And you'll see uh, the manner in which Mr. Cooley 
eliminates his man extremely well using that Oklahoma stampede then hooks that far leg has the lateral press and the pinfall the winner Wendell Cooley if you would like to advertise your business or product on our show please contact us at 205-970-0333 that's 205-970-0333 Russell Birmingham. Barry Productions, your source for technical management, staging, and sound and light systems. We'll deliver, set up, and make the magic happen. Whether we're using our equipment or yours, we have a top-notch arsenal of sound and light systems that will make your next event sizzle and shine. And our highly professional staging services will have you up and running in no time and looking better than ever. With prices designed for your bottom line, you can't beat Barry Productions. 205-987-3211. Oh, sorry. Just practicing my moves in case I have to jump in with my friend Action Mike Jackson to help whoop some butt. Fortunately, I've never had to do that. Anyway, a few days ago, we caught up with Mike, and I was able to talk to him for a few minutes. Let's go to that clip now. Want to? Mike, you've been an Alabama favorite for a number of years now. Can you give us some insight on how you got started and how you keep up your momentum? Well, Larry, let me say this. I've probably been a fan favorite more than years than I want to remember. But, you know, it, it's just I work out very hard every day. This is my business. This is my life. I love this business. I get up every morning like 4, 30, 5 o'clock. I go to the gym. I try to do two and a half to three miles a day on the treadmill. I work out with weights. Of course, you can't tell that. But I do work out with weights every day. And, you know, I know that if I'm going to continue to do this, contrary to popular belief, it's a hard sport. And I know that I've got to have my win, I've got to have my momentum, I've got to have this or I'm not going to make it. So I work out hard every day for this. Oh, I understand, and you can really tell it. I wanted to ask you about one of your signature moves, like you did at the April show in Birmingham, where you get your opponent in an arm lock and you walk the top rope. How did that come about? Well, Larry, I've learned a long time ago that when you're small as I am, if you're going to make it in a big man sport, you're going to have to do some things like that. So my whole match plan is aerial stuff if i can get a guy off the ground the the old saying is a very simple saying anybody on their back is the same size that's exactly what i look for so if i can get above them or if i can get above them and look down on them i know i'm doing the right thing oh i understand that's my moves. Hey, absolutely well mike i know that you're a big softball player and that's another one of your passions too you want to say anything about that well let me say this that's probably the only thing in the world i'd skip wrestling for softball i love softball i've been on 21 national championship teams i've played with teams all over uh pretty much all over the southeast i've traveled all over the world to play uh i enjoy that uh wrestling is still my first love though but i really do enjoy softball keeps me in good shape i met a lot of good people been with some good teams and you know i'm i'm excited about that too well, man that's great well, Mike, we've enjoyed you in the Birmingham on the Wrestle Birmingham shows, and we know you're going to be here this month, and you're going to be on the June 10th show. Now, that's going to be a big match. Isn't that right? Well, let me say this, Larry. When I... I wrestle for a lot of different organizations. I wrestle for a lot of different people. Years ago, I was with WCW, Continental. I'm sure the fans know that. WWF for five years. But, you know, when I get a call nowadays, I'm a little bit leery. I'm going to be honest with you because I go to a lot of places that, 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 that you know, it's just not what I want to be around. But when I got the call from the promoters from Wrestle Birmingham, first thing I said was, well, who's going to wrestle when they said, well, you come wrestle for us. And they named Bullet Bob Armstrong, mm -hmm. and they named get names like Wendell Cooley, mm -hmm. Scott Armstrong, Exotic Adrian Street, Rick Steiner, P Tom Pritchard, Randy Rose, The Midnight Express, Rock and Roll Express, and I thought, this is an all-star show. This is definitely what Mike Jackson wants to be a part of. Man, I'm excited about being uh, uh, on the show. You know, to, for somebody to even call me and ask me excites me. But for me to be able to be in championship matches in, in the Zamora Shrine Temple is a beautiful place, beautiful setting. Uh, we had a big crowd. You know, we've had two or three big crowds out there. Right. That just shows me that the people in Birmingham still want professional wrestling in Birmingham. Absolutely. And I'm excited about it. And, and for, for the promoters to call me, it's a who's who of professional wrestling as far as I'm concerned. Well, absolutely. Well, Mike, we appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you in the future. And the best of luck to you. Thank you so much, Larry. Take care, Mike. All right, man. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this message. 
Ferry Productions, your source for technical management, staging, and sound and light systems. We'll deliver, set up, and make the magic happen, whether we're using our equipment or yours. We have a top-notch arsenal of sound and light systems that will make your next event sizzle and shine. And our highly professional staging services will have you up and running in no time and looking better than ever. With prices designed for your bottom line, you can't beat Berry Productions. 205-987-3211. Don't forget, Russell Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple on June the 10th. Already signed are Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, Bullet Bob Armstrong, Brad Armstrong, Ricky Morton, Brickhouse Brown, and the return of Adrian Street. To keep abreast of who's who, who's going to be on the show, and who's against who, be sure and watch Russell Birmingham every Friday night at 12.05. Or turn to your internet connection, punch up www.wrestlebirmingham.com. And now, here's another Russell Birmingham flashback. Listen up, Robert Gibson. I'm not here tonight just to beat you down like a scalded dog. I'm here tonight on a mission to collect $10,000 that has been placed on your head. And sometime tonight, before I leave this building, you will find out, and all of these rednecks in here find out, who the beneficiary is is going to pay me the money to whoop your butt. He got it. He got it. He got the three count. And the winner of the match is the Rock and Roll Express, Robert Gibson. Wait. Wait. What is he doing? Hey, Robert Gibson, I'm going to go home tonight $10,000 richer, but I want you to listen up for what's in store for the Rock and Roll Express. None other. Play the music. Does it sound familiar? Hey, I'm talking about Jim Cornette, Loverboy Dennis Country, and beautiful Bobby Eaton, the Midnight Express. And me are after you, brother. In August of 2001, at the Batwell Auditorium, we put on a special memorial show for Freebird Terry Bam Bam Gordy. It turned out to be a star-studded affair with his former partner, Michael Hayes, his son, Ray Gordy, against the Dirty White Boy and Nightmare Kenny Wayne, and also a special appearance from Triple H. Let's take a look. Measuring each other up. Dirty White Boy now locked in corner. But there you see Ray Gordy standing on the outside. A chop to the chest of the Dirty White Boy. Michael Hayes near left for the first time. Ray Gordy in this match. Ray Gordy now measures him up. Kick to the, look at that. Tremendous kick to the abdominals of the Dirty White Boy. Oh, and another kick by Ray Gordy. Gordy now trying out. Taking the Dirty White Boy down to his knees. Working on that arm in this tag team match. Michael Hayes on the outside cheering on Ray Gordy. Well, Ray Gordy, after this event, is going to Japan. He is going to go for a, a six-week tour of Japan where Terry Gordy, his father, was a nice. idol over there. He right. was the biggest superstar over in Japan. Right, right. And now, Ray Gordy now following his father's footsteps, and now he's in trouble as the Dirty White Boy is taking over. Full slam on the, uh, Ray Gordy. Gordy now tagged, uh, Dirty White Boy tags in Nightmare Kid Wayne. Gordy catches him with a spin and a takedown. Gordy in control as Nightmare Ken Wayne makes it to the ropes, ripped and tossed for the break. Michael Hayes on the outside of the ring. The Ray Gordy here tonight, and he is showing himself to, uh, to be a tremendous athlete. Again, a side headlock, going back to the headlock, apparently uh, feeling that that maneuver is, is uh, 
making waves, and of course it is, uh, it is slowly but surely wearing down the Nightmare Ken Wayne uh, tonight in this match. Well, when you have arms like Ray Gordy, when you've got the arms, you got the, well, here we go, he's going to whip them off again, and he does, a, a big leap frog falls down, he goes under, what a foot by Ray Gordy, with a big drop kick by Ray Gordy, and it takes Ken Wayne out to the floor, and I don't blame Ken Wayne for going there because Ray Gordy was like a house of fire. Right there, got both of those feet right between the eyes, and now Nightmare Ken Wayne. You know, you've got to be, you, you got, if you're wondering about the Nightmare Ken Wayne and Gordy Wilder, you've got to think, be thinking to yourself, what have we got ourselves into? You would think that uh, Ray Gordy not being in, in professional wrestling that long uh, would give him this much trouble, but right now, in firm control are the uh, Freebirds, uh, Ray Gordy and Michael Hayes at this time, and now the Dirty Wilder boy, the veteran, former Smoky Mountain champion, former tag team champion, and now making his way into the ring, Dirty White Boy, and of course we saw him earlier with Tommy Rich deliver that tremendous pile driver, shades of Terry Gordy, and I just wonder if that's uh, something that uh, uh, the Dirty White Boy was thinking about to try to send a message to the Freebirds later in this match. Well, you know, I heard, uh, I saw the Dirty White Girl out there saying, hey, I want a timeout, I want a timeout. There's no timeouts in professional wrestling, Kimberly. Uh, there's no timeouts. Big drop kick by Ray Gordy. Takes Dirty White Boy down. Another drop kick by Ray Goody. And Dirty White Boy decides to go out. Two drop kicks. And now the Dirty White Boy is frustrated on the outside. They are frustrated. And they're just, I, I think they're wondering right now. They're beginning to find out just who Ray Gordy is. Tag team strategy. And the Dirty White Boy now showing the effects of that, uh, the, the, the maintain the pressure in the, uh, on that leg. Well, if you remember, it was right here in the Alabama area where Michael Hayes and Terry Gordy got back together as a tag team. Uh, Michael Hayes was getting to, going to get his hair cut with the sheep herders, and here comes Terry Gordy to stop that from happening. It all came back together right here in this area, and that... Well, wait a minute now. They just took over on Michael Hayes. Right, Michael Hayes now in trouble. And now this is where they are dangerous in their corner. Nightmare Ken Wayne now forcing uh, Michael Hayes now whipping the ball. They're reversed by Michael Hayes. And now, oh my... Nightmare Ken Wayne up and over the top rope and now on the floor. I'm not for sure Ken Wayne is going to get up after that. He is not going to, well, I guess Ray Gordy's going to help him, but oh, no, the right Dirty White Boy out. That's what we're talking about. Ray Gordy turned his back just for a moment and Dirty White Boy took over on him, slammed him into the next table. Uh, they have not been able to mount any kind of offense as of yet in this match. And now Michael Hayes now with the lock in with Nightmare Ken Wayne. Now the tag is made again. Here comes Ray Gordy. Now the whip into the rope. Ken Wayne comes out now. A double to the middle and now grabs a whole head for a hair and slams Ken Wayne down. Well, you go, there you go. They whip them into each other. Go, he whips them. Whoa, my goodness gracious. He put them down there. Let's see. We'll have a three count right now. One, a two. Put on the rope. Put on the rope that time. Ken Wayne knowing exactly where he's at in the ring. And oh, my. He just got him strapped. He's on the, he just got himself on the, on, the, on the ring post there trying to, to get away from Ray Gordy. Well, if he didn't go down the last time, he went over the top rope. This may be the end of Ken Wayne now. Look at, look at Dirty White Girl up there saying, no, no, he's He's had it up. You've got to be saying now, you've got to be saying to yourself, Dirty White Boy is beginning to uh, have some respect for Ray Gordy. Well, yeah. he should. He should because it's, I think Ray Gordy has showed them that he is a professional. He's only wrestled a year, but he has the ability to get in the ring and take over the situation. Yeah, tonight, he's showing that he's just not just Terry Gordy's son. He's, in fact, Ray Gordy and uh, probably the next uh, generation of fabulous three guys right here. There you see, Gola whips him in. He whips him out. He goes over and picks him up. Picks him up right there. Has him, holds him. Comes down, side slam. Side slam by the Dirty White Boy. And this could be very well be the beginning of the end for Ray Gordy as the Dirty White Boy with a tremendous side slam. And now it looks like the momentum is beginning to turn in favor of Nightmare Ken Wayne and the Dirty White Boy. Well, the Dirty White Boy said something to Michael Hayes. I could not, I could not tell what he said, but... Uh I have a feeling that Ray Gordy's in trouble now. Uh, the trouble now, now we're beginning to see it. And we're going to be seeing that, that, that mean streak of the dirty white boy, Tony Anthony. It doesn't matter that this is a tribute to that man's father. They're going to make an example. They're going to come out of here with a win tonight. Dirty white boy and Nightmare Ken Wayne. And now a full uh, suplex right there. And uh, Ray Gordy is in trouble. Uh, now, right now, he is really now uh, uh, mocking Michael Hayes, his dirty white boy, as now they continue the pressure on Ray Gordy and now sets him up tremendous swinging neck breaker right there and Ray Gordy is in trouble. Ray Gordy is in trouble 
They're going to now take that that tag team wrestler that we talked about. Now we're going to see Ken Wayne, and there we whip him in for a double elbow. Double elbow right there. It is gut check time for Ray Gordy. Right now, he's seen him as he can dish it. Now he can see him dish out the punishment. Now can he take it? And now he kicks out from Nightmare Ken Wayne. Ray Gordy is still in this one as Nightmare Ken Wayne. Now with his bear hug on Ray Gordy. He can pound it on it. But now he breaks down. He kept tosses him over. Now Ray Gordy in trouble. Now Nightmare Ken Wayne has a hold of the leg. As Ray Gordy tries, tags made. Here comes a dirty white boy. And now, oh, an elbow across the top of the head. Puts uh, Ray Gordy back into the corner. Another one to the top of the head. Dirty white boy now takes it. Whips Ray Gordy into the corner. Comes up. Ooh, a big foot right into the face of Ray Gordy. They're seeing. They're saying, hey, we've got Ray Gordy where we want him. We, we've got him. And you got to know what this is doing to, to Michael Hayes in the corner. You know Hayes is wanting to get in there really bad and, and try to stop this punishment that Ray Gordy is taking right here. Now Nightmare Ken measures him another right hand. Now Michael, uh, Gordy trying to shake it off. And now... Now, now on the outside of the ring, Jody White and Ray Gordy, Michael Hayes coming in, distracting the referee. Now it's two on one on the, on the outside. It's Jody White boy. Ken Wayne continues the onslaught on Ray Gordy. Snapmare takedown. Now Ken by the referee right there, kind of out of position, only a count of two. And now Nightmare Ken Wayne has a hold of the tights, I believe, and now still couldn't get a three count as now. The referee continues to try to count only a count of two, and Ray Gordy is continually to kick out as Nightmare Ken Wayne continues the onslaught. Well, it shows that Ray Gordy is, he is wanting to win this match. He is not wanting to go down. You've seen this tap on kick it out and tap on kick it out. Tremendous hard, tremendous hard by Ray Gordy. But you must understand, you must understand, Nightmare Ken Ken Wayne did that for a reason. You keep the man going. You keep the man going. Keep on making him kick out. Keep on kicking out and wear him down until you can beat the man. Right now, he's got him in that head scissors. I've got his legs in a, in a scissors right there. Ray Gordy now trying to move up. And now, now a right hand into the stomach. Another one on the stomach of the nightmare, Ken Wayne. Ken Wayne now with a forearm. Now it is uh, Ray Gordy, and now Jody Whiteboy comes from behind. What is the, now the referee finally. The tag is made. The tag is made. Here comes Michael Hayes. Michael Hayes has got it. No, wait a second. Referee did not see the tag. He didn't see the tag, and now that makes, referee is now being distracted. It's now Jody Whiteboy comes and did not make the tag and now the abdominal stretch put on Ray Gordy. This can put this can put a lot of pressure on your back. This can tear our back out and if he stays in this long enough he'll wake up the next morning not being able to walk. This this is what it's all led up to right here. It's tremendously excruciating a uh, hold right here. We've had the side slam the suplexes weakening the back and now has the abdominal stretch. Tremendous pressure right here uh, by the dirty white boy Tony Anthony as the referee continue to try to weaken uh, the back and now tries for a headbutt and Ray Gordy moves out of the way. Well, he's going to go out to the tag. Can he get the tag to Michael Hayes? We'll just have to wait and see. Dirty White Girl, Matt Wooden will get it. And Michael Hayes gets the tag and comes in. And it's Clearinghouse. Hayes now, right hands is going after. Dirty White Boy, another one on the side. And Dirty White Boy goes on the outside of the ring. Michael Hayes now, 20 goes set for the Bulldog. Here it comes, bam! Got the Bulldog on Nightmare Ken Wayne. Goes for the he and Count One. Count two, wait a second. Dirty White Boy just yanked the referee. That with a good three count right there. And the Dirty White Boy yanked the referee right out of the ring. Ray Gordy comes over and nails the Dirty White Boy on the outside of the ring. Well, here we go. Let's see what's going on in the inside of the ring. Michael Hayes is bringing white right to left. Choking Nightmare Ken Wayne. Michael Hayes continues now pounding Nightmare Ken Wayne in the corner. Dirty White Boy from behind. Michael Hayes in trouble now. And Nightmare Ken Wayne now moves back in. Now the double team again by the Nightmare and Dirty White Boy. Now they try for flipping into the opposite corner. Michael Hayes comes over. Oh, my, the big left hand. Another left hand to Nightmare Ken Wayne. Off the top rope, Ray Gordy with a flying press. Ten of one, two, three. Well, there you see the winners at this tribute to Terry Pam, Pam Gordy, Michael P.S. Hayes, and Ray Gordy, the fabulous Freebirds. Truly the torch has been passed to Ray Gordy as the Freebirds, Michael Hayes, Ray Gordy, win it tonight over the Dirty White Boy and Nightmare Ken Wayne in this historic tribute to the fabulous Freebird, Terry Bam Bam Gordy. It has truly been one great night. Now Michael Hayes has some words.
Don't go away. We'll be right back after this message. So I've been trading with Elvis ever since 1965. I could have gotten a deal like that anywhere else. The deal was nice, real nice. I got the payments within the limit that I planned to. I got a great deal. I saved a lot of money. You got the best deal in town. Great deal on a good car. A real good price. I definitely got the price that I wanted. It's fantastic. The customer service was excellent. I've always come back to Edward Chevrolet. Best product for the best price. I don't think you need to go anywhere sure. else. ABC 3340 and Chick-fil-A are teaming up to help the Big Oak Ranch. Hi, I'm Mike Rayna. And I'm John Kroll. Go to any Birmingham location at Chick-fil-A, and for $1, you can get your own Big Oak Ranch golf ball. And for every donation that you make, Chick-fil-A and the Bruno's Memorial Classic will match it. Join our friends to help make the difference in the life of a child. I wish the real golf balls were this big. They're well, amazing. Just remember, for $1, you can have your own ball. Chip in and help the children of Big Oak Ranch. Brought to you by Chick-fil-A, Big Oak Ranch, and Bruno's Memorial Class. If you have suffered from diabetes or pancreatitis after taking the drug Zyprexa, call Goldberg, 800-600-6014. Pam Huff, only on ABC 3340. If you would like to advertise your business or product on our show, Please contact us at 205-970-0333. That's 205-970-0333. Russell Birmingham. Barry Productions, your source for technical management, staging, and sound and light systems. We'll deliver, set up, and make the magic happen, whether we're using our equipment or yours. We have a top-notch arsenal of sound and light systems that will make your next event sizzle and shine. And our highly professional staging services will have you up and running in no time and looking better than ever. With prices designed for your bottom line, you can't beat Barry Productions. 205-987-3211. You're not going to believe what's coming up next. In 1987, there was a little thing at Holiday Beach, Alabama called the Beach Brawl. Now, during the afternoon, some of the wrestlers actually sang in concert. So watch closely as we watch Dr. Tom Pritchard making his singing debut. And if you look real close, you may recognize a young guitar player in the backup band. Here we go. I am the star of the show! Well, Dr. Tom was pretty good, but the crowd really came alive when Bullet Bob and the Armstrong gang came up to sing. Let's watch. <laughs>
guys had a big time doing their in-concert thing, but they did take time out to do a little wrestling. Here's a match with Bullet Bob Armstrong and the Dirty White Boy. Well, that was a hot match on a hot day back in 87. You may have noticed a young man in the ring wearing a striped shirt. 
That would be referee Roy George, and we're proud to have him in the studio with us this evening. How you doing, Roy? Hi, Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. You doing okay? Man. Yeah, you remember that Frank. match? Yes, I do. Very vividly, but I also remember it being not only hot in the sky, it was very hot in that ring, because Bud Armstrong and Dirty White Boy have been battling for years all around the country. Absolutely. They have really grown a big feud between them two. Oh, I know it. Well, what have you been doing since that time, Roy? Well, I have been traveling the country from different parts of the world, refereeing. I've been in the business now for nearly 32 years, and I have really came a long way in that 32 years. And just recently, in 2004, I was promoted to senior referee of the NWA, which is kind of the top dog type oh, yeah. uh, place, you know, when, they, when you want the best, it's kind of like the world champion of the referees. Well, congratulations are in order there. Yes, sir. I thank you, Mr. Larry. Yeah. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here in the NWA and, of course, with Russell in Birmingham. Well, great. Can you give the fans uh, an idea of some of the big names you've refereed for over the years? Oh, sure. I've refereed for people like Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Jake Snake Roberts, Harley Race, Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, Andre the Giant, and there was times when there was The Sheik and Abdullah the Butcher, uh -huh. and Poor Chop Cash. I don't know if anybody ever remembers him, yeah. and several other wrestlers along the way. Oh, that's quite an impressive list. Uh, Roy, I wanted to ask you, do you think the business has changed a lot over the years? Yes, Larry, it has. It's changed a good bit. They, they have seemed to have taken the sport out of wrestling. It seems to be more of an entertainment, le less wrestling, more talk. Now, I believe that with the NWA coming back and people are ready to see some old-fashioned, old-school type wrestling. And NWA has reinstated the old rule book, and I am personally glad to see that and have the opportunity to be here with Russell in Birmingham to make sure those rules are followed properly. Well, Roy, you still look great and doing a great job, and we're proud to have you here with Russell Birmingham. Thank you, Larry. Thanks Good to be here. on the show. Yes, sir. We'll be right back. Barry Productions, your source for technical management, staging, and sound and light systems. We'll deliver, set up, and make the magic happen, whether we're using our equipment or yours. We have a top-notch arsenal of sound and light systems that will make your next event sizzle and shine. And our highly professional staging services will have you up and running in no time and looking better than ever. With prices designed for your bottom line, you can't beat Barry Productions. 205-987-3211. Don't forget, Wrestle Birmingham returns to the Zamora Shrine Temple on June the 10th. Already signed are Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, Bullet Bob Armstrong, Brad Armstrong, Ricky Morton, Brickhouse Brown, and the return of Adrian Street. To keep abreast of who's who, who's going to be on the show, and who's against who, be sure and watch Wrestle Birmingham every Friday night at 12.05. Or turn to your internet connection, punch up www.wrestlebirmingham.com. And now, here's another Wrestle Birmingham flashback. This match on Wrestle Birmingham in flex to take on the exotic Adrian Street with Miss Linda. This is going to be a spectacular matchup right here on Wrestle Birmingham. There you see right now, Ian Flex coming to the ring. And he's coming to ringside with the man that we saw last week, and that's McNasty. We found out that McNasty, this man uh, doesn't really care if he wins matches. All he cares if he chokes a man down. And there you hear the introductions for McNasty.
Well, you're in flex. Seems like he's surprised that everyone knows the exotic Adrian Street. Adrian Street has been in the area for many years. I can guarantee you the exotic Adrian Street, former Southeastern heavyweight champion. He has held regional championships throughout the country. And along with Miss Linda, comes to Birmingham, Alabama. Russell Birmingham. Adrian Street. There is none like him in the world. There is only one Adrian Street. There has been many, many wrestlers throughout the years that have tried to imitate this man. Adrian Adonis was one of them. He is no Adrian Street. Just recently on another wrestling presentation, we saw this, and there is only one Adrian Street. There you see, in Adrian Street fashion, he kind of gave the uh, referee a little, hello, how are you? Right here, Miss Linda looks spectacular. Look at Miss Linda. She looks great. Miss Linda has stood behind Adrian Street going on for over 20 years. There is no woman that stands behind her man like Miss Linda. Adrian Street from the Royal Forest of Dean. They go against Ian Flex. Ladies and gentlemen, Friday May 13th, Fred fight happens at the Zamora Shrine. Tip away to man, the referee. The referee watched as Adrian Street came right behind McNasty and gave him a hello. There you hear the ovation the for the exotic Adrian Street right here in Birmingham, Alabama at the Zamora Shrine Temple. There is no, none other, no one like the exotic Adrian Street. And we're about to see him square against Ian Flex. The referee getting all over McCasty. Now the referee overseeing about Adrian Street. Miss Linda gonna take care of her man like she always does. There you see the referee checking the man. Yeah. to make sure, whoa, <laughs> Adrian Street <laughs> wants the referee to check the man. He, he likes to be checked by the referees. <laughs> Behind the referee once again, Adrian Street. The exotic one. Right here. Yes. If you guys have got something going, I can come back later. Oh, what? <laughs> Telling McNasty and Ian Flex. Adrian Street is going to There you see. We run the bell for the this contest. Adrian Street. And getting his little uh, perfume all over him. Miss Linda, ringside with the exotic one, Adrian Street. Oh, look at Ian Flex. Ian Flex trying to flex his muscles. Adrian Street flexing his. Here we go. Action to begin with the exotic one. Nope. It's not going to begin. What is he doing? Wait a minute. Look at this. Adrian Street hey, hey, hey. took off a wig. He went and look at this. A ball-headed, exotic Adrian Street. The exotic one. He's always coming up with something new, something exciting. And now we see the exotic one, Adrian Street. No hair, completely bald. Right here on Wrestle Birmingham. Now let's see if we get to action with the exotic one, Adrian Street, locking up against the inflex. They lock up Adrian Street. He grabs the arm and hooks the face. Has a hammerlock on the arm, hooks the
to face. And Flex gets the rub. Adrian Street breaks clean. Adrian Street, a man of a million holes. He can get you in holes that have no names. Zodic, Adrian Street locks up, goes behind the man. And the wrestler stance tries to get out. Reversal by Flex. In flex, got the man. <laughs> that is certainly a way. That is certainly a way to get out of a move. Adrian Street kind of wiggling against Ian Flex. Right here on Russell Birmingham. Adrian Street has certainly entertains the wrestling fans every time he comes to town. Ladies and gentlemen, Friday, May 13th, Tamar Shrine Temple, Fright Fight, the over-the-top rope blindfold battle royal, plus the NWA Alabama Heavyweight Championship, Dr. Tom Pritchard to take on the dog-faced gremlin, Rick Steiner. Adrian Streams up to the rubs, comes back in flex. In flex, has the big bear hug on the exotic one, Adrian Street. Break his back. The referee asking Adrian Street if you'd like to go back. Where is the another way at the Oh, Adrian Street. Adrian Street kissed the man. Now kisses the referee. Ian Flex very upset. Now kisses that nasty. All three men inside that ring. Try to walk off the, the kiss that Adrian Street gave all three of them. Gets him a drink of water. No much blame after kissing uh, McNasty, the referee. Now he wants a little bit of more smooch. The referee, Mike Payton. The exotic one, Adrian Street. The Royal Forest of Eden, England. One of the greatest pro wrestlers to ever come to Birmingham, Alabama. Ian Flex not wanting to get back in the ring. I don't much blame him. He came in to wrestle and he's been kissed a couple of times. Now he's telling the referee to uh, make sure McNasty stays at ringside, stays down where he belongs. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, once again, Friday, May 13th, the Zamora Shrine Temple, an all-star wrestling card featuring the stars of the National Wrestling Alliance. Go to www.russellbirmingham.com. Check all the happenings of Russell Birmingham. There we see the exotic Adrian Street. He's going to, oh, takes the fingers. The referee makes a count. The exotic one, Adrian Street, has the arm locked. The referee asking Ian Flex if he'd like to give it up. The exotic Adrian Street with Miss Linda. Russell Birmingham. Each and every week, right here on ABC 3340. Midnight on Friday nights. Join us each and every Friday night for all the action of Russell Birmingham and the stars of the National Wrestling Alliance. Miss Linda clapping for her man, the exotic Adrian Street. We've seen Adrian Street for many years here in Birmingham. He will do what it takes to win a match. There is no doubt about that. I'm not for sure, but I think Miss Linda tripped up in flex. And I wouldn't put it past her. She has done a lot of devious things in her career in championship wrestling. McNasty telling Miss Linda that he's going to slap her. I wouldn't try that, McNasty. Miss Linda is a very, very uh, mean woman indeed. Adrian Street's got a song, A Mighty Big Girl for Her Age. I believe that uh, he might have been talking about Miss Linda because she is mean as well. We have seen him flex in and goes in a monkey flip. Monkey flips in flex. Elbow smash on the back. 
Adrian Street now gets up. I believe that was a low blow. I'm not for sure, but I believe that was a low blow by the exotic one. I mean, he hit him low. Wait a minute, what's going on right here? McNasty, McNasty is all over Adrian Street. There you see the exotic Adrian Street. He is choking Adrian Street right now, choking him down. Referee Mike Payton, Mike Payton, telling Ian Flex to stop. Wait a minute. He's asking Miss Linda to get up. He slaps him. He slapped. There you see. He's going after the hit him. Goes a crucifix over one, two, three. And it was the three count and the winner of the match. The exotic one, Adrian Street, wins the match right here on Wrestle Birmingham. There you see your winner of the match, the exotic one, Adrian Street. Ian Flex cannot believe it. Wait a minute, Adrian Street has something I to say. I want to know what you're doing with this. <laughs> this is a European belt, and you're Canadian. Here we all know what Canadians are, don't we? Yeah. I'll tell you what they are. They're all American wannabes. Yeah. Nothing but American wannabes. Yeah. I retired this belt. This belt belonged to me when I wrestled in Europe. And I retired when I left the European area. What are you doing with it? I challenge you right here and now to a match, a European match or American rules, any way you want, for that belt. I retired that belt. What are you doing with it? This is what I'm talking about. This belt belongs to me. Well, that's our show for this evening. Don't forget to tune in next Friday night at 12.05 on Channel 3340. Till we see you again, this is Larry Lloyd signing off for Wrestle Birmingham.